Hey guys, this is a quick overview of dot storming, which takes collaborative walls up a notch by allowing students to upvote different posts. So the first thing you're going to do is join if you haven't already. Um, I'm going to simply log in. Once logged in, you can see I have several topics. These are previous walls that have been created. To create a wall, I'm going to click Add Topic. From here, I'm going to give it a title and a description. And then I'm going to choose the number of votes I want each person to make. I'm going to stick with three here, but you can change this according to your purpose. And I'm going to share the link um, with students in order to get them on the wall. So um, I, I think that would probably be the easiest and put it on Moodle, but it's up to you. Okay, so once the wall is created, um, it's quick to notice that the students have to put their name in order to join the wall, so you'll see your participants. Um, you can enable or disable the chat feature, so if you want students to be talking over to the side, um, great for like Socratic seminars, some class discussions, you can enable or you can disable. In order to make a post, I'm simply going to click on add an idea. And this is for text posts, so you can add um, paste and hyperlinks, you can add text here. If you want to add an image, um, you can simply select images. Um, for now, I'm just going to put um, something in here. So, um, as students go in and make their post, um, they can vote by clicking on the dot. And so, you can actually rank by votes, so this will sort according to the most popular vote. If someone else posts something that I like even better, I can remove my vote and then go vote on another post. Students can also comment on each other's post. Um, so this just really adds for a lot of peer feedback, teacher feedback, and good class discussion. Finally, to share the uh, dot storming wall, you're going to click on share, and then you're going to copy and paste this link. 